Alright, so it is time to talk about the il illustrations. We talked about the tables, uh, and I hope you do the projects and as well, okay? Uh, and do it, really. So illustrations are part of inserting these things to uh, your emails or to your Microsoft Word or Excel or anything you're working with, okay? So the, the cool part of Microsoft applications are they are using the same interface with Microsoft Office. 365 or Microsoft Office, just Office, or really the cool thing that's and with the web version, they are the same. They are doing the same thing with the uh, smartphone version, even they are doing the same thing. So at the illustration, we have pictures. We can bring pictures uh, to the illustration. Uh, let's bring, for example, the saved images of this flower. There you go. So I brought this images. So once you brought the images into the into this, you will have a very gigantic big size in here, okay? So let me just do it. Okay, so we did the image right now. Uh, once you select the image, you'll have like this options, okay? Uh, whenever you bring images to Outlook, you'll have dozens of options to go with. Number one is remove background. So you can remove background with one click. So you click and it, it automatically detects the face. If it didn't, so you use these tools to mark them. So I'm going to mark these to keep. Uh, mark it ready to keep. Yes. So there you go. Uh, just keep the flowers. But don't, yeah, mark this to remove it, really. Yes, I think it fits nice. And I also delete this part. Yeah, it's pretty nice right now. So discard will discard it, okay, uh, it'll cancel it. But keep changes will give you the changes. Wow, you can see it's really nice flowers, okay. So let's bring it back. Discard all changes. Correction, you give you correction uh, of the picture uh, with the brightness and with the sharpen or soften. So it's your choice really. Picture correction options is where you can choose one uh, and then, and gives you lots of options to go with. Uh, present Presets of the color and sharpen and preset of brightness, brightness and contrast. Uh, picture color as well, so it gives you the preset of picture color and saturation, temperature, all of that. So you can improve the saturation to uh, even have it really better images. You can reset as well. You have the crop option as well, okay? So we will talk about the crop. That's the format picture. Uh, we have the color as well, all right? The color, saturation, color, tone, recoloring. We have more variation as well to recolor. Set transparent, whenever you set transparent, so it's like removing background, okay, so you can see it removed the same color. And it's good for white background or maybe a green, uh, some one, one color background. Picture color option will give you the picture color option again, okay. The option that we work with. And we have artistic effect as well. So you can see this one is really nice. Huh. And we have, again, the compress pictures. We can compress it. Apply only to this picture. Delete cropped areas of pictures. Yes. And resolution, how you can re you can really resolve them. High fidelity or HD print or web or email. If you're emailing, so this is the better. 96 PPI is the better one. Uh, we have uh, change replace picture as well. We have receipt as well. We have two part of receipt. Receipt picture will give you only, will receipt only the formatting, but receipt and file fi receipt picture and size will originally you will have the original picture as well. We have picture quick styles as well, so we can have it. You can see. Uh, we have so much more. Of the border color, you can see the effect, or you can choose the width. And the type, so it's your choice. And we have also again preset of the shapes and 3Ds, shadow, reflection, glow, soft edges, 
Devil 3D. And you know what? Each one of these has options, like, like reflection options. Or into this option, format effect. So in here, you have a lots of lots of things, lots of cool stuff in here that you can do with. Okay, you can go with the preset, you can go with the color changing, and then you can go to transparency, size, blur, angle, distance. You have lots of cool stuff in, in, in here to do and reflection and glow and uh, soft images, 3D format, 3D rotation, uh, artistic effect. We have lots of cool stuff in here, okay? So you can use on your own and make it really preferable, okay? Uh, so that's it for the picture effect. This is for converting it to the smart art and writing text on it, okay? So it's your choice, not mine. This one is rice. You can say, for example, almond. Yeah, almond rose, okay? That's nice right now. It should be really smaller. It has also design. Okay, smart art. We didn't talk about it yet, so we'll talk. Don't worry. Yeah. There you go. It's almost nice. Okay, so let's go with the wrapping text. Uh, so it, it's useful whenever you write some text uh, somewhere else. So I have written text, oops, I have written some text in here, okay? Now, it, you can see right now, the, it's showing up at the above, but I can change the position of the picture through the text in the line or square. You can see right now the change. Top and bottom, you can see top and bottom as well. Or you can go with in, in front of the text or behind the text or more layout options. You have a lot of options to go with in here, okay? Uh, so let's go with the square. Square is better. Yeah, square is better. We have also bring forward, which it'll bring forward. Uh, let's just draw something, like inserting something, some pictures. Okay, again. Uh, all right, so this is it. Oops, it's too big size. It's very big size takes my time to do it okay you can see right now this picture is not into the picture uh, but you can do it okay let me just choose a in front of the text yeah so right now you can see it's on the text on the picture so you can say bring forward send backwards bring forward send backward okay you can do lots of cool stuff with it again it's it has lots of things in it okay uh, you can see right now Selection panel will give you selection of the, the tools objects you use to and you can also show them or hide them So let's delete it We have again the alignment Okay alignment for example, let's bring this images. So I want to align them through the top. Okay, so let's go with the top uh, oops, align to the page. It has only two things. Okay, align to the pages. Uh, but let's just stick with this and choose this as well to in front of the text. And right now, align should be available. Yes, align to the top. You can see they are aligned to the top. Or align to the bottom. Oops. Align to the bottom. Oops, it's doing something amazing. Align to the right. So there you go, it's aligning to the right. Yeah. So that's the job of really this. And let's go back again. And we have also rotation. And we have also crop that you can crop images. Now let me go and delete this. Okay. And just really go with the wrapping text square. Okay. We have crop as well. Yeah, we can crop it. Boom, it's cropped. Uh, we have cropped the shape as well, like cropping like this. You can see right now. Wow, this seems nice. Or you can crop something else to something else. Okay, it depends on you really. So you can have it as also aspect ratio to it. Or fill or fit while cropping. Finally, we have size. 
that's the job of picture, okay? We talked about pictures and uh, tables and so much more, messages and all of these files yet. So let's talk about the online pictures is the same thing. Okay, you bring online images, that's fine. That's, that's the only thing you do with shapes next time.